How's it going, YouTube? Dallas Boy here, back in with another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi battle. In this battle, I'm going to go up against Hyun Allergy. If I if I botch that name in any way, I apologize. But uh, I'm, I met this guy in the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder, and I think this was the last battle I'm ever going to be getting on the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder until further notice. Because I think on the same day I had to deal, that I had this battle, I had to deal with some sort of jerk, and yeah, let's not get into that. But looking at teams, um, this is actually an alphabet battle, and we both spelled out Batman in, in, in a kind of tribute to the movie, um, The Dark Knight Rises. So, um, yeah, and if you can see by the Magikarp in in the fourth slot, um, yeah, that's pretty much my way of doing these types of battles: bring five serious things and something stupid. And I kind of wanted to get a Magikarp kill because I felt like it. But biggest threat to my team definitely the Tracheon, and the Azumarill is also very threatening with its priority Aqua Jet. But if I can, can keep my Arcanine and my Brulim alive, then I think I should be a okay for this match. So I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and let's get this show on the road. My opponent's gonna be leading off with Buffalon. I'm gonna be leading off with Brulim because we both lead because it's kind of mandatory that we both lead off with B. But I'm gonna be switching onto my Arcanine, knowing that. Buffalon can do a load of damage to my Berloom if I have to go for a Sword Sand. But my Arcanine gets taunted, and I'm kind of forced to switch here. But my opponent brings in his own Arcanine to get the Intimidate off of mine, predicting me to go for close combat or something. But I'm actually going to be switching out into my Thunder Ethereum form. And this is actually the first battle on my channel where you, you guys will be seeing a Ethereum form of, of some sort. But I g try to go for Scarf Thunderbolt. Hey, wait, Scarf doesn't boost anything, never mind, but... Yeah, my, my Thunderous gets rocked by a Flare Blade, followed up by an Extreme Speed, as, as you guys will be seeing here, and I'm actually going to be living both of these hits with 2 HP. But, the good news is, I get rid of his Arcanine, the bad news is, uh, my best check to um, Nido, this Needle King you see here is very much crippled. And since I'm locked in the Thunderbolt, I have to switch out, and I'm pretty much gonna have to go into an appropriate Death Water, which unfortunately is gonna have to be my Magikarp. So sorry guys, no Magikarp magic to be seen here today, sadly. So uh, sorry guys. But anyways, I'm gonna be sending out my Alkazam, and he's gonna predict my size shock and go into Mandibuzz. And that's actually gonna cause me to switch out because I do not want to rely on Focus Blast because you know that moves accuracy and whatnot. But then, Mandibuzz actually sets up a substitute on my Arcanine switch, and this kind of causes me to panic a little bit, and switch out to my Neo King to, to try to break this up, because of all, all the coverage it has. But now, Mandibuzz goes for, goes for a nasty plot, and I kind of, yeah, I did see this then in a cap battle with NBZ, and yeah, that was a, that was a pretty funny battle, but... Aside from all the rambling, I go for a Thunderbolt to try to break the sub, and Mandibuzz just goes for another nasty plot to set up to plus four, and I'm pretty sure that he might want to switch out his Mandibuzz from here, so I go for the Ice Beam, actually predicting Nido King to come in, but Mandibuzz takes his zip pretty nicely, but for being a I4 boost and Sheer Force boost to hit. But I actually take a, take a Dark Pulse with 22 HP, which actually kind of surprised me. But now he's going to be sw switching out into his Buffalon once more. And I felt like I could have needed this um, new King for a little later, so I, I switched out and brought, and brought my own Arcanine once more to intimidate the Buffalon. And Buffalon actually goes for a head charge, and Arcanine takes that hit just beautifully. And that's actually going to cause um, Buffalon to switch out and go into this into this um, Mandibuzz. And this part was a pretty big pain in the butt, where he's just roosting up, subbing up, etc. And I pretty much can't do much about it since his Ar because his Arcanine can not really touch Mandibuzz that well. Here I do go into my Alkazam and. Like I mentioned earlier, Focus Blast not that accurate, I miss, and since I don't want to rely on that move, 
anymore. I just go into my room. A, a non boosted technician mock wait. A plus zero technician boosted mock punch does not break this up, surprisingly. But but um Handabuzz is gonna be setting up the plus four. Now I'm at plus two after that sword dance, but Handabuzz is also behind this up. But now I know I'm plus two that I can definitely pop that substitute wide open. And now I go for Mock Punch. Get a great hand. Pro it probably mattered, but I don't really care because that annoying threat is finally out of the way. And now it comes Neo King, and I'm gonna have to Death Fire out something. And pretty much the best thing I have to fodder out is the Thunder is. Or at least I thought at the time, but better move was probably to death butter out my own Nido King. But it doesn't quite matter that much because I'm gonna be sending out my Alkazam to revenge kill the Nido King easily with a, a life orb boost life orb boost dice shock. And now it comes to Zumeral, I'm kind of afraid of the priority. And I'm gonna be going out <laughs> into my Nido King as Death Fodder. But Zumeral actually goes for the double edge, which should have showed me that he didn't have awkward jet. And this is going to come in, into a little bit of play later. And you guys will see why. But now I'm going to be sitting on my Arcanine to intimidate the Azumarill. And here I'm actually going to pre predict the switch into Terrakion and go for the Will-O-Wisp. But unfortunately I'm going to miss there and that's also going to bite me a little bit in the butt a little later in time. And you'll, you guys will see why. But now he, he knows that I, his, that I showed him Will-O-Wisp and he doesn't want his Terrakion to get roasted. So now he's going to be sending out into his Bufalon, sending out his Bufalon, who is eventually going to be taunting me as I will be going for the flamethrower, knowing that he will be going for the taunt, and uh, yeah, that's actually going to be cooking that Buf Burton's actually going to be taking out the Bufalon, and now he actually has to free switch into Terrakion, and I'm probably going to have to stack something to pretty much get out the item. And he's actually going to be going for the Stone Edge, which scores a crit on my Alakazam. But, as you would see here, he shows me Life Orb. So, the best, probably looking back, the best thing I could have stacked would have been this Reloom right here. And Mock Punch doesn't KO, unfortunately, which means that Terrakion will be going for the x Scissor to take me straight out. Now my last Pokemon's Arcanine, and I'm up against two big threats in Terrakion and Zumeral. And knowing that I got the Intimidate off, I can take a Stone Edge from this Terrakion. And I take it with 139 and go for a Morning Sun. And I'm pretty much going for the for Morning Sun just to try to take an attack from the Zo Just to try to take an Aqua Jet for, with, for Zumeral. And try to get a crit with Hidden Power Grass, which I do carry on this thing. And another Stone Edge comes, I live with 85, get up, and get up another Morning Sun, as Terrakion goes down. But now his last Pokemon is Azumarill, and I definitely should have played this last move a little bit better. I knew that he, knowing from the last move that he did, where he went for Double Edge, that he didn't have Aqua Jet, I actually do go for the HP grass and I actually get a crit, but waterfall ensues and it's pretty much a good game from there. But better move definitely would have been go for the will with knowing that he didn't have the aqua jet, knowing from the double edge. But and eh, eh, what can you do? They're just moves that he could have made, but and high, hindsight is 2020. But hey, it was still a pretty fun game. He had allergies, so uh. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.